What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode number 37 of the Traders Podcast. I have a Chicago Black Hawks jersey on. No, I'm not a Black Hawks fan. But you can see the back of it says Griswold. It is November 1st. Halloween is over. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to start celebrating the holiday season. And here on the Traders Podcast, that's what we're going to do today. I've got my Griswold jersey on. i got a Griswold shirt on that I'll, I'll show here a little bit later in the show. But super excited to be with you all here today for a brand new episode, number 37 of the Traders Podcast. We're going to talk about the importance of your health, your mental well-being, and just having a routine to take care of all of those things when you are engaged in this world of trading and investing. And it's something that is often overlooked. Uh, a lot of people probably don't think, well, there's nothing physical involved with trading. So why do you have to make sure that you're in good health or that you know you have to do things like meditations or, or challenges? What is the importance of any of that with trading? Well, I'm going to get into all of that today and why it's important and some of the things that I do to keep myself of sharp body and mind so that when I do sit down at the computer, I'm ready to go. So that's going to be the topic for today. And before we get started, just want to say happy November 1st. This is my favorite time of the year. I am super excited. Hence, uh, my get up here, I'm going to be taking down the Halloween decorations. I'm not going to start decorating for Christmas yet, but I'm getting ready. Uh, but it's also an exciting time because November typically starts the best stretch for the markets uh, of the year. November through April, typically you see the greatest returns in the market. And so who can't be excited about that? But there's this one thing still hanging out there that takes place next Tuesday. Yes, the presidential election. And I'm sure I speak for many people out there. They're tired of getting texts and phone calls and seeing the political ads or getting the all these advertisements in their mailbox about the election. Let's just get this thing done. Let's move forward. It's time, right? It, it's time and everybody needs that sense of closure to what's happening. And the reason I bring that up is because that's the thing that's going to hold the market back and really inject volatility into it. And yesterday we saw a pretty significant sell down over a hundred points uh, on the SPX and other uh, major indices. Uh, a little bit of a bounce today, but still looking pretty weak. But it's all because there is uncertainty. And if you've listened to this podcast for any period of time, you know that the market despises uncertainty. And I think that once you get this election wrapped up, that uncertainty is gone about who's going to be the leader of the United States for the next four years. I think you will see a subsequent rally from there. And so that's what we're, we're looking for. Uh, next Tuesday is going to be a, an important day. So be on the lookout for that. And I hope you have an awesome November and December. Man, we're going to celebrate these next few weeks here on the Traders Podcast. But let's dive in to today's topic, and that is taking care of your body and your mind and its importance in your trading. Let's go. So I got this message. I'm always looking for topics or ideas that you guys would like to see covered in the little minis that I do for the channel or on the Traders Podcast. And this question uh, comment said, how about a video on the importance of proper diet, sleep, and exercise for mental clarity while trading? I was very surprised to see these is issues addressed by Andrew Aziz in his book, Day Trading for a Living. Uh, not sure how effective it would be since we Americans don't want to give up comfort, junk food, alcohol, et cetera, let alone get off the couch or get to sleep earlier. Um, and so you know who you are. Thank you for sending that, that recommendation out to me. And that's what we're going to get into today. And it absolutely is a part of the process if you're going to succeed in this business. Now, a lot of people may argue against that and say, you know, being in good physical shape or being in good mental health doesn't have any part on your ability as a trader. But I'm here to tell you that that's absolutely nonsense because number one, if you're healthy, if you're fit, if you are peace of mind, I'm not saying you're going to be perfectly uh, fit, perfectly peace of mind uh, and just be impeccable in all those areas. No, that's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying that you make it a point, a routine 
uh, something that's that you do consistently to make sure those areas are taken care of. Because if you are not healthy, if you're not exercising, if you eat bad, what you put into your body, you're going to feel that. If you are overweight of bad health, that's going to impact you in your trading in terms of how you feel about yourself. And so you have to make these things a priority, okay? Uh, and not to give health advice or say that you should do X, Y, Z program, but it's just as simple as getting outside and moving, whether it's walking, it's running, it's riding a bike, it's lifting weights, it's playing a sport. It's just being physical and moving your body. Your body was designed to move. And here's the thing, as traders, investors, we're in front of the computer an, an awful lot, right? We're sitting. And so it's even more important for us to get up, to move. And for me, how I do that, the best thing for me to motivate me is to have some type of goal or have some type of race or challenge in front of me. And so I think back to two years ago, I did the calendar club and you could check out the video on the channel where whatever day of the month it was, I ran that day in mileage. So January 1st, I did one mile, January 2nd, two miles up to the end of the month where the 30th did 30 miles, 31st, I did 31 miles. And so something like that, while extreme, obviously, pushes you to challenge yourself physically, challenge your spirit and oh yeah, keep yourself in shape. I remember after I did that challenge, I had blood work done just to check my cholesterol, triglycerides, all that stuff. And it was perfect. It was probably the best reading that I ever had in my life. Um, and those are indicators of health. And so my doctor said to me, he's like, hey, whatever you're doing, keep it up. And so you don't have to do crazy challenges like the calendar club, but you can do something simple like, hey, go run a 5K. That's 3.1 miles or do a half marathon, 13.1 miles or a full marathon, right? Challenging 26.2 miles, something that's going to force you to challenge yourself physically or create a workout routine, a strength training routine. If you like to lift weights or if you used to lift weights back in the day, go to chat GPT, use it to your advantage. Please provide me with a strength training program three days a week. Uh, here are my statistics. I'm a 43 year old male, female, this is, these are the exercises I like to do. These are my goals. And Hey, here's the cool thing. Chat GPT will spit that thing out to you. And it's all based on research and then have the discipline and accountability to follow through with that. Okay. And besides the, the endorphin release or just physically feeling good about yourself from exercise or following a plan or having a challenge or something to push yourself, the other component that comes into play with your trading is the discipline. And what I mean by that, if you are signed up for a race or if you are doing the calendar club or you are doing a 20,000 kettlebell swing challenge that I did uh, a couple of years ago, you have to have the discipline to stick to your plan. And where else do we have to stick to our plan? Trading. One of the biggest reasons why traders fail and lose money and are not profitable, they're not disciplined. They don't follow their plan. So one of the offshoots of all of that is going to be increasing your discipline, increasing your ability to follow a plan. Okay, so that's one component of it is just exercising, moving. It doesn't have to be crazy, but you need to get out and move, get that body moving, get your blood going, right? The second piece is what are you doing for your mental health? Right. And this is something that a lot of people think, oh, it's bullshit. It, it's not important. Well, it is right. Just as we have to take care of our physical selves, we have to take care of of our 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 thinking, our brain, right, our spirit. Some people will do it through their church. Some people meditate. I do like to meditate where I just take time to sit, focus on my breathing. I like to do visualization exercises to to calm myself down because I, I tend to be tightly wound. I get a bit anxious at times. Uh, and doing things like sauna. Like if you, ha if you have access to a sauna at your YMCA or local gym, you can go use their sauna. You can do your meditation in there. 
uh, something that just gives you the time to sit with your thoughts, breathe and focus, right? You could do that even out on, on the walk or journaling, getting, getting your thoughts out of your brain down on paper, working through the things that you're thinking about, organizing them, making to-do lists, things that just helps structure and organize all the activity that's going on up here in your brain. And it can be a lot, especially for us as traders and all the charts that we look at, all the reading that we do uh, to make sure we're prepared to trade the market. So we want to make sure that we're prioritizing uh, our, our mental well-being. And one app that I'll recommend uh, to everyone is called Headspace, which is just something you could download on your phone. It has guided meditations. They have a variety of courses, stress relief, um, patience, you name it, it's there. And basically, it's somebody talking to you, guiding you through meditation. And, and it could be anywhere from 10 minutes to 30 minutes. You can control the amount of time you want to do that. But when you go through that process, that structured process of taking the time to really work on that peaceful component of your brain, there is a stress relief that comes along with that. And that on top of your exercise just really builds momentum for yourself to just be a better person, a better human being, which is going to make you a better trader. And there are obviously other things that we could do. Uh, drinking water. Um, you know, when I was a, a principal, assistant principal, high school principal, I used to carry around a jug and I could just imagine what some teachers and parents would think of me. I'd be sitting there drinking out of a water jug. Drinking water is important. Staying hydrated. If you're dehydrated, that is one of the worst things for you. Nutrition, making sure you're not eating like dog shit, just to be candid, right? Um, the, the text that I got, people won't stop eating fast food or eating junk. What you put into your body is going to affect how you feel. So eating vegetables, fruits, lean meats, uh, fish, all, all those things you could do will just make you a better person, better human being, better trader, right? Now, this doesn't mean that you've got to be so rigid, so disciplined to where you don't eat any fast food, you don't eat pizza, you can't drink beer, wine, whatever it is that you like to do. No, because I'll tell you right now, I do not live that life. I enjoy myself, right? So I'm very routine, structured, disciplined, but I also enjoy other things. I enjoy to have a beer, right? Or a glass of wine or two. And I'm not going to give those up. It just means that I'm not pounding 80 drinks, right? In, in one session. It's about moderation, right? Because you have to have those things that you enjoy. But the more important part is just doing things that enhance your spirit, your soul, your mental well-being, your health. Those things will impact your trading, okay? And, and it's other things too, just reading good books or things that help you, you know, develop who you are as a human being. This is a book that I've read a few times now. This is Be Your Future Self Now by Dr. Benjamin Hardy. Um, typically towards the middle of October, I start my planning for next year. Um, and I'll have a few books that I'm reading to help me as I plan and reflect on how the year went for how I can improve. And this is one of them. And reading good books is part of that process to expose you to new ideas that can help make you more efficient in your processes or better in your relationships. And so I would encourage you to do that. Read quality books that can help you grow as a person. Listen to good, good podcasts. Watch good YouTube videos. You know, I don't even watch TV. Uh, anything that I watch, it's something that I'm choosing from YouTube that's educational. But I just... And I'm not saying you have to go this route, but I want it to benefit my life that I can therefore then use it to benefit my family, my friends in some way. And, you know, if you think about something simple like YouTube, there's so much quality out there that we can use to uplift ourselves that we don't take advantage of it. So, again, you have to take care of these things. You have to prioritize these things if you're going to be forget being a good trader, just a good human being who's living at a level to where most importantly, you're proud of yourself and what you're doing, that you're not leaving things on the table. And 
there's always a voice in my head when I start to slack off or I get off of the path that says, you are not taking full advantage of the life given to you. And I know when I hear that voice, it's time for me to step up. And David Goggins talks about recertifying as a savage. And so maybe some of you out there know you've got that voice nagging you saying, man, I know that I'm not doing really, I'm not doing shit. I'm not doing anything that I could be. I, I'm not living the life that I should be. And if you have that voice talking to you, it's time to step up today. Get out there, put your running shoes on, go for a run, go for a jog. Don't make excuses that you can't do it. Go lift some weights, go walk in the woods, go meditate, read a good book, listen to a good podcast, do something to help someone else, eat good food, drink a gallon of water, right? And all these things will lead you to where you want to go. Uh, not just to becoming a profitable trader, but a good human being who can change the world in some positive way. And that's what I want for all of you guys. So that's the topic for today. And now it's time for Mr. Roku. All right, guys. So here, let's take a look at Mr. Roku. I had this earnings target of 97.23. And I also made the prediction that Roku would be at $100 by the end of October. And guess what? I was wrong as I quite often am. I'm right sometimes too, but I happen to be wrong here on Mr. Roku. And let's take a look at what happened here on earnings. It was an earnings beat, um, but you could see what happened. We gapped down from 77.06. We hit a low of 60.08, right? But you did have some buyers who came in here quite a bit of volume and you have some buying that's coming in here today on this, this Friday, this November 1st, we do have a little bit of an inside candle, which looks like that's how it's going to close here today. But notice a few things here. There is no support down here. The 100 and 200 SMA have converged uh, above the uh, above Roku. So we're going to see if this is going to come lower down to the COVID 2020 lows and the support that I support that I had marked back uh, from August that could not break, that did get broke. So we'll see if we're going to retest those areas, if we're going to climb out of here and fill this gap um, from where we gap down on earnings. But this is four earnings calls in a row on Roku that they've went down. And notice, we still have this gap to fill back from February of last year that would take us back up into the 90s. It didn't happen. And the Roku bulls are hoping that there is the year-end rally um, in November through April, are we going to see it post-election? I don't know, but Mr. Roku took a hit. Man, I forgot the I forgot the glasses. I forgot the glasses. Yep. So Roku's probably going to come down more. Let me put these things on here. Anyway, that's Mr. Roku. And ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for episode number. Look, I changed my shirt. Got my Griswold shirt on. Let's go. Let's go. I hope you have a phenomenal day. I uh, hope you have a great November. It's going to be a fun one here. Courage pays better than fear trading. Lots of new things coming up on the channel. I've been wor working, studying how to do this thing better. Lots of new courses coming your way. If I can help you with anything, please reach out to me. Courage pays better at gmail.com. Shout out to everybody who's part of Profit Pioneers. If you're interested in trading coaching, reach out to me. Shout out to Michael Wong. We just had a session today. It was great catching up with you, man. Um, Love you. Great, great questions. Great insight. I was learning from you just as much as you were learning from me. And I'll see you back here next week for episode number 38 of the Traders Podcast. Have a phenomenal day, everyone. Take care.